Hello viewers, this is Rise, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Today we're gonna continue through Magus' Lair. Oh, one thing I want to point out, you'll notice Heal says more, so it's supposed to be a higher level than the, the sum level of spell, level of healing spells, but uh, for some reason Heal Beam is better. I, I don't get it, it might be it's bugged or something, but I looked at the uh, damage formula, the formula for its heal rate, and heal is actually weaker. And I know it was weaker from when I was just, uh, when I was actually playing this game before, in my previous run through. But, it, the game says that it's a higher level, but it's not. I don't get it. But if you gave Frog all your magic tabs, heal would be pretty good, too, of course. Um, heal also restores status effects, so, and it targets everybody, so that can be pretty useful there. And, of course, you'll take what you can get, of course. Cadaver Pals? What's this? Who's this guy? Slush! Sir Slush? Let's talk to him. Oh, it's Slash. Oh, apparently Cyrus kicked this guy's ass. Okay, this is Slash. To beat this guy. Okay, I'll show off spin. I'll show off triple raid. Why not? So anyway, to beat this guy, either use triple raid, which we'll do. Eh, thousand. Thousand seventy, right? But, uh, I know a better way. Spin cut and bubble snap. That's three hundred. And 820, so that's... How much is that? 920, 1020, about 1120. So it's about 100 damage better, and, uh... You only have to have Robo and Frog's turns coincide with each other, so... It actually ends up being quite a bit better. Oh, he's already done. <laughs> Okay, now it's for real. He has 5,200 HP this time. Or maybe he has 5,200 with both of his forms together. He's only listed once in my beast area for some reason. But, uh, same strategy. He is stronger now, though. So you gotta watch out. He actually has access to, uh, Chrono's Slash technique. And he can hit all three characters with that, and it deals around 70 damage, so... I'd be really careful, and, uh, when you need to heal... Use heal beam, which uh, we don't need it quite yet. Slash isn't too bad, but you do gotta watch out for him in this form. I've actually lost this fight once. Sad to say. Ah, uh, we should get him. Maybe we won't even have to heal. I think he has the same finishing move too. Yeah, let's use uh. What is it there? Heal Beam. We'll use Spin Cut, and... Ah, oh, we might as well use uh, Slow Cut. Now, even though Slash seems to be fire-based with his, uh... His fire-finishing attack, he's not weak to water or anything like that, or lightning or anything. I mean, why would he be weak to lightning? Yeah, he has Spin Cut. Watch out for that. I mean, that's a good hunter damage, and, uh... That can be pretty annoying there. Especially if he follows it up with a physical attack. Still, uh, your spin cut was good. Mine was better. Oh boy. I better use Cure Beam on Frog. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And uh, we'll use Slip Cut. Might as well. And another spin cut. Yes, indeed! Eh, about a hundred. Not bad there. Huh? 
Apparently he's countering with that now. He must start countering when he gets low. Ah, another spin cut. Be about 100. Oh, 120. Not bad. <clears throat> oh, I'm pretty sure if you trigger a counter attack with a dual attack, the uh, character that you selected the attack with would get countered. I think that's the way it works, but dual attack usually, uh, by slash, usually one hit enemies anyway. Well, he's dead. And we get the slasher. I almost said the slasher too, but that's a different sword. And this also increases, uh, Chrono's speed, so that's nice. It's a little bit better, but the speed boost makes it more than worth it. Let's use Heal Beam. Or not. Why am I going to use Heal Beam? There's a save point. I'm losing it. Losing it. Eh, no big deal. Alright, let's go. I'll just meet you uh, back in that first room. So, see you then. Okay, I'm back. And uh, we're going to go in here now. So, let's do it. And sure, we want your treasure. Absolutely! You're kidding, game, right? You're kidding. These weak pieces of crap? Yes, those were shadows. Luca! Holy crap. Okay, for these guys, just use rocket roll. I'm gonna need a lot of time for the boss, so. And Slurp Cut for me. If you haven't given, you know what? Just normal attack. Slurp Cut would definitely do it, but Frog Critical is so much anyway. At least with the Heroes Metal and the Massimo. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow. It's lean. Holy crap. And that's why you don't piss off women. Because they turn into monsters and try to kill you. You actually get 33 tech points for killing all three sets of enemies. And they respawn too, so. Good place to grind for tech points, but I won't be doing it. And I just want Chrono to kill this sweet bag right now. <laughs> and there we go. I thought that was going to be an experience screen there. Oh, of course. Didn't see that coming. Oh, it's that stupid bat. Apparently the bat is a shapeshifter. I don't know. I don't get it. Who's this woman? Now let's kick her ass. What? What is up with square and cross dress? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just they seem a little obsessed with it. Especially if you look at Final Fantasy VII. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, uh, please, same strategy. Just, uh... The reason I had Chrono attack is because I want Chrono to use an ether right away. And that way I can start... Damn you, Flea! Uh, I was going to have them use Bubble Snap right away. But, you know, apparently not. But yeah, same strategy. Uh, her Darkness attack is pretty good. And uh, she can inflict sleep, darkness, chaos, and uh, poison. And you gotta watch out for her, the stare. That's a good move that she has that hits everybody. It deals over a hundred. And I'm trying to end this fight quickly. I don't care about that. Yeah, that's the stare. It's pretty, pretty bad. Got it. 
got out. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Have a good day, guys.